Hey Mike, this is Zach. Got the the camera running on the iPhone and I wanted to show you what Obi was able to do to, to your guys' uh, riverfront down here. So we're pulling up to the main site right now. There's the water. I'll pull up here a little bit and park. This is where that brush pile was. Actually, it was a series of about three brush piles, Obi said, when he got into it. Pretty thick. But he pushed those completely out of the way and back, oh, about 100 feet. Out of sight completely. So like you and I talked about, even the next time the water does come up, uh, there'll be nothing there to collect debris, hopefully. So that should stay nice and clear. There was a big dead sycamore tree right here. I don't know if you recall that. Uh, the little dozer couldn't push it out. So those guys cut it uh, pretty close to ground level. And this was the waterfront site while you were here. Little pile of, of uh, debris there he couldn't get into. He couldn't get the dozer behind it. And then you had kind of cleaned this up with your tractor already. He went through that. And he pushed the brush way back. Can't even see it. He got right down into the sand uh, on this whole area. He said it was a little tricky. There was uh, decades worth of driftwood. Every time he put the blade down, more would come up. <laughs> this is all pure sand though. This is really, really pretty here. And then this is a nice little uh, site he pushed right down to the water. It just goes gently into the, the water. And it is just a really pretty section of river. So, because of the dozer issues, he wasn't able to get quite the dimensions you wanted, but he tried to get all the features you wanted into this, this area. Nice open area, plenty of shade, easy access right down to the river there, nice and wide. Stick your kayaks in right there. A lot of open space. So I just wanted to take a little video and, and show you the progress.